The surge of COVID-19 infections up and down the country has prompted a stark warning from the Health Secretary, Matt Hancock. We don't rule out taking further action if it's needed. But it's your actions now that can make a difference. Act like you have the virus. It's an unwelcome message for many across Britain, but Professor Chris Whitty, who's the Chief Medical Officer and Advisor to uh, the government, says tougher restrictions are absolutely unavoidable. The next few weeks are going to be uh, the worst weeks of this pandemic in terms of numbers into the NHS. Well, hospitals are being pushed to absolute breaking point. Last week, we had the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, declare a major incident, which just gives you an idea of the scale that the NHS is facing. But also, we've had major incidents also being declared in areas like Surrey and Sussex. And those on the front line say the situation is dire. We are facing into the most grave phase of this pandemic. Our hospitals are in danger of facing into an abyss. Well, all this comes as the government unveils its vaccination plan. It includes the opening of seven mass vaccination centres across the country. But there is a widespread perception that the government keeps over-promising and under-delivering. It, it comes as a poll uh, finds that around 72% of people think that the government has not acted fast enough, with 42% say they're absolutely too slow. But there are still plenty of people out there who think the lockdown uh, shouldn't be in place at all, and they clash with police over the weekend. rollout does provide some light at the end of the tunnel but there are many people out there that have no doubts that things are going to get worse before they get better the NHS is is struggling now in some parts of the country there are no beds and people are being shipped around the country and, and in some places there's a shortage of oxygen there is no doubt about it the NHS is on the brink and the big message from the Secretary of State was to really implore people to follow the rules and do not go out unless it's necessary Necessary. The NHS, I think, is close to breaking point. I think the government have been too slow right from the beginning. They were too slow to lock down originally. We are an island. We could have closed our borders easily, but we let people in from China and from northern Italy and from Spain. They brought the infection with them. They were too slow to get people to wear masks. They were too slow with the original lockdown, and they've been too slow uh, with lockdown since. And, of course, we've had the relaxation over Christmas, which was a very foolish thing to do in my opinion so yes i think we've had uh, we have a prime minister who's been hesitant to lock down and he's been too slow to act and that's been the story throughout this very sorry tale